ജനുവരി തേർട്ടിയത്ത് ട്യൂസ്ഡേ മാർക്ക് ഫൈവ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ടു ഫോർട്ടി ത്രീ ദ കിർബി ഫാമിലി ട്രൂലി ബിലീവ്സ് ഇൻ ദ പവർ ഓഫ് പ്രയർ ആൻഡ് ഗോഡ്സ് മിറാക്കുലസ് എബിലിറ്റി ടു ഹീൽ after a horrific car accident that gave grayson a less than 5% chance to live he defied all medical odds by waking out of a 10 day coma the family mobilized an army of digital prayer warriors that kept faith and did not give up we have been hearing from people all around the world germany ireland korea australia sending their prayers his mom karen kirby said miracles happen every day his story has helped restore faith today's gospel is all about healing the reading opens as jairus an official of the synagogue comes to jesus and begs him to heal his daughter she was dying and jairus was desperate he begs jesus to come and simply lay his hands on her jairus had faith that jesus could and would heal his daughter immediately jesus agreed to go with jairus as they went on their way a woman who had a long history of hemorrhages had heard of jesus and of his power to heal this woman believed that if she simply could touch jesus even for a second she would be made well the woman quietly came up behind jesus reached out and touched his cloak in that instant the woman was healed even though the woman had touched jesus only for a second jesus immediately realized that someone had touched him the disciples tried to convince jesus that it simply was the movement of the crowd but jesus had experienced the touch of faith what is the healing that you long for have you reached out to touch jesus do you experience the presence and the healing power of jesus you may receive the specific healing you have asked for but perhaps the healing is happening in other ways jesus does hear and respond to our prayers however the response may not become clear to us until later we may be suffering from illness or from any other problem 
for a very long time the challenge for us is to continue to trust jesus even when he seems silent or when nothing seems to be happening do we give up or do we continue to ask and pray to the one who will give us what we need even if it may not be the answer we hoped for perhaps the question is do i truly trust jesus and his love and care for me we may be losing hope but let us listen to jesus telling us do not be afraid just have faith with the faith and love we shall overcome today january 30th marks the 76th death anniversary of mahatma gandhi the father of the nation 76 years ago three bullets pierced into the flesh of a fragile 79 year old father of the nation on his way to the daily evening prayer the light has gone out of our lives and there is darkness everywhere the prime minister pandit jawaharlal nehru said on 30th evening but later he said the light has gone out i said and yet i was wrong for the light that shone in this country was no ordinary light the light that has illumined this country for these many years will illumine this country for many more years and a thousand years later that light will be seen in this country and the world will see it and it will give solace to innumerable hearts for that light represented something more than the immediate past it represented the living the eternal truths reminding us of the right path drawing us from error taking this ancient country to freedom wishing you a good day father paul csr from Kerala